and welcome back to Cigar Time. We're very honored and pleased to be approaching our first anniversary, but more about that later. Uh, the lovely Miss T will tell us about our first cigar, our only cigar. Yeah. Our first cigar, only, our cigar of the one. day is the Perdomo Lot 23 Natural. It has a, the wrapper is a Connecticut and both the binder and filler, again, are Nicaraguan. Uh, the sizes are Bellicoso, Churchill, Gordo, Torpedo, and Robusto. I mean Toro and Robusto. I wish they would make a torpedo on this one. That'd be pretty cool. They don't make a torpedo. Well, next time you yeah, talk to Nick, ask yeah, them. Yeah, they, they have a yeah, bellicoso. Because torpedoes are great, uh, fantastic size. Um, the taste profiles: leather, cedar, coffee, espresso, nuts, and orange peel notes. Let's see who gets the orange peel notes. If, if whoever can identify that, that'd be pretty cool. What's a peel? What's uh, a peel note? Just want to say that oh. this uh, this. Specific tobacco Mother's is only lighter. grown exclusively on Lot 23 down in Esteli, Nicaragua, which is why it's called Lot 23. Right. Except for the Connecticut part. Except for the Connecticut part. Just the binder and the filler. Is that okay. Connecticut in Connecticut or Ecuadorian Connecticut? I would guess it's Ecuadorian. It's yeah. awfully yeah, dark, dark for a Connecticut. Yeah. Connecticut. Yeah. yeah. Yes. It's probably sun Can we cut these? Sun not yet. Oh, not yet. No. Not yet. First. We have our final installment of Nick and Nick, and Nick. we're honored to have them again, uh, but this will be their last time on this go-around. Welcome back, Nick and Nick. Guy, you guys are becoming regulars on this show. Thanks for having us. Do we have to pay you for this? Nah. Oh, okay, good. It's a very frugal organization. Unless you want to. Yeah. Doesn't hurt. A cigar? Well, I got to put a kid through college. That's the truth. <laughs> That's I, I, I know what that costs, yeah. brother. <laughs> Private school and college? Yeah, I get it. Believe me. Yeah. Uh, I want to remind everybody there's still a week left for Perdomo Month. Our great specials are still in effect. Maybe we'll sneak a few more in during the week. Be on the watch for it. Uh, I think today, let's talk about some of the other Perdomo products. Sure. Well, you know, in the repertoire, and you carry a, a vast line of our stuff, you know, we have our, our most prestigious brand, which is the Edición de Silvio. Uh, we have a couple new sizes in the Grand Crew that just came in. We have a six and a half by 54 and a five and a half by 54. The line's mostly 60 ring gauges, so truncated them down a little bit. A lot of people ask us, Art, why do we make a lot of 54s and 60s? Well, quite simply, it's because the consumers are requesting it. Yeah. As a cigar maker, I'd much rather make a 42 or a 44 yeah, course, or a 46. Course, I'd make a heck of a lot more money. Um, are you ever going to make a 70? No, that I won't. I, I did that, I did that in, in, the, in the late 90s or in the mid-90s even with the Menso, if you remember that brand. Oh, yeah, I did that, I did that yes. in the 70s. So yep. uh, that was about 15 <coughs> years ago, and uh, I promise you, I don't think I'll be doing 70s now. Oh, thank God. That's too much of a cigar. It's a little too big. 60 is about the maximum, I think. In 60, you can still have a nice blend, and it's a cool smoke and so on. But I think 70 is just way too much. I just think when you get to a size like that, you lose a lot of the taste from the wrapper. I agree. Would, yeah. you, would you smoke a 70? No. Okay. That was no, not at all. I find even a 60 to be pretty big. 60 is about the max. 60 is about yeah. the max. Now, i got to ask you a question. Sure. Being raised in the cigar business. Did you ever smoke a cigar before you were legal age in this country? Because I know Nicaragua probably doesn't have an age. No. Okay, good. No. Never. He's lying. I was 18 years old. Just looking for his nose to grow. Yeah. I'm doing my... I'm doing my uh, don't, don't face this way because it's going to hit me, Art. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about some of the other lines. Well, um, you know, our bread and butter is, you know, the Perdomo Reserve Champagne. That's mm, been that's, that's been a huge, huge brand. Yep. You know, Connecticut Shade Wrapper, more of a medium-bodied cigar. Mm. Kind of hits every gamut. It's, it's paying his his college tuition. It's been a big brand for the family, <laughs> and uh, we've been blessed. And, you know, it's got its brothers and sisters. It's got the Champagne Noir, Not a good the cigar. Champagne Sun Grown, which are, are really doing good. And really what's been fantastic and... Uh, we just won Cigar of the Year for Nicaraguan from the Cigar Journal uh, last month for the best Nicaraguan cigar, which was the Perdomo 20th anniversary. And I've been really happy with that. I don't really advertise any magazines, Art. And yet Cigar Fictionado in the last five issues has given it 92, 90, and 90, yeah. um, which was really nice considering I don't advertise with those guys. And uh, Cigar Journal gave it a 94 and a 93. So Ooh. we've been in the 90s the last five issues are really two great magazines and I've been really proud of that and I'd like to thank the consumers for supporting us the, the brand has done really well and I'd like to thank you and listen the truth of the matter is I've known you for a long time yeah. and how you've built these stores is really incredible how yeah. many stores do you have now? Nine? 
Well, by the time this airs, it might be 10, but it's still 9 right this minute. Pretty incredible. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Pretty incredible. See, that's a good entrepreneur. That's what I'm trying to teach. You need to listen to these types of guys. I wish I was his age again. Uh, I'd take your age again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's it's been a great partnership with, with our two yeah. stores. And uh, thank you for the specials. They've gone really well. And like, like Art said, we have a couple more weeks. And uh, it's been super. And uh, you really know how to run a business, and you should be proud of yourself and your staff. My is God, too. I feel like I'm walking on air here. No, nah, but it's the it's truth. The truth. Thank you very it's much. It's the truth. <laughs> My head's exploding. That's <laughs> okay. You've worked hard for it. That's for sure. Yeah, it's uh, as you know, it's 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 been a run. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. And you have a lot of good guys, Rob and Scott, and yeah, it's been uh, it's been it's been nice. Yeah, I'm blessed to be surrounded by very talented people who've been here for a long time and. Look, it's retail. You know, not too many people are getting rich working in retail. But we try, and you know, one day I hope that uh, our business will take another growth spurt. And maybe with the advent of some of the things that the government's going to probably wind up foisting on us, some of our old business that we had that we kind of lost to some of the mail order and internet companies may be returning to us. And I truly believe that this is the kind of a business that requires the personal touch. Not to say anything wrong with the mail order companies, but they sort of they, they kind of pick and skim the low-hanging fruit. Whereas we work with the customer, and our philosophy has always been never take the customer where he or she doesn't want to go. We don't upsell, we don't, you know, we, we try to, you know, learn from the customer what they smoke, what they like, what they like to try new, and sort of keep them in that price range. Because I think the minute you try to upsell a customer or take them where they don't want to go, the customer's not dumb. The customer realizes it. And no good can come out of it. So we try to keep it friendly. We know our customers. We've been around for a long time. So our people really are very talented when they work with the customer. And our jobs are made a lot easier when we deal with companies such as yourself. And you do stand out. You know, I don't know if everybody tells you this, but your product line and the dedication of quality and the price points you offer the product back are it's just a perfect, perfect mix. And now that Nicaragua is very much back in vogue, and I remember in the early 70s, before the first Sandinista Revolution, when Nicaragua was going to overtake Cuba. And now I'm glad to see in the last 15 or 20 years, with the advent of yourself and, another, uh, and a number of some of the other, you know, well-known Nicaraguan manufacturers, I'm glad to see Nicaraguan tobacco make a comeback. Yeah, a real me. comeback. We'll surpass the Dominican Republic this year. That's amazing. It is amazing. Consider 15 years ago, you couldn't have said that. When I first got in the cigar industry and started going to Nicaragua in the mid-90s, it was, you had Mexico and you had countries like the Bahamas and the Canary Islands. Canary Islands, yeah. Above. Jamaica even. Yeah, and I remember people saying, Nicaragua, what's Nicaragua have? Yeah. And I say, you'll soon see, and today it's, it's growing like, it's climbing like an F-16. We've been blessed there. The soil. It's the black soil. It's, it's the best, it's greatest the, it's, soil it's in, the the world. Best in the world. It, it really is. It really is. Well, as we conclude our Perdomo month, we've been very honored and blessed to have both Nick and Nick, the Nick and Nick at night. Yeah. And uh, we thank you both. Thank you, Art. And thank your customers. Thank you, Mr. Tolp. Now I think it's time to light our Lot 23. And we're going to use our Zycar Cutters and Lighters, yes. the official yes. sponsor of Cigar Time. I should point out that even though we've used them so many times, they're still sharp. They're still very sharp. Yeah, I've cut, I think, uh, 11,300 and either 29 or 30. I've lost really? track. Do you and know if it, if it goes, nice. since they have a lifetime warranty, you just send it back to them and they'll sharpen it for you. That's yep. pretty good check. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. You never go dull. <laughs> Other than my teeth. Other than some this of the This is the only panel. cutter I would use. Really? Yeah. Wow. Those teeth don't come with a lifetime warranty. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, it, but at least so far I haven't lost one. Nobody gets out alive. That's true. It's got a really nice, sweet pre, pre light. It does have a nice pre light. Mm. But do you get those peel notes? Mm hmm. I'm getting lemon peel. <laughs> Just kidding. Better than lemon wax. I'm definitely getting orangey taste. Are you really? Mm hmm. Okay. I noticed something interesting about this lighter. Because the top of it is a mirror finish, mm -hmm. yeah. when you're pointing it at your cigar, you can actually see the end of your cigar in oh, it, so you get yeah. it in the right spot. What I a brilliant marketing. That. Or you can burn your mustache while you're doing it, too. 
Get it too close. Straight I, That's a burn, I'd burn myself in a heartbeat. No, I'm you sorry. always burn I've done yourself. it. I've done it before. So I don't. I use a soft flame. That's so why I like <gasps> doing that on the inside of it's your like ears. Hard. They make soft flames too. I know they do. They make great soft flames. Yeah. Well, who wants to be sell. first with their initial reaction? <laughs> I've done it at everybody at once. Yeah, go ahead. Um, what did I say earlier? Sweet. I don't get the orange peel. Oh, yeah, sweet. the pre-light. Uh, pre it, it was a very sweet tobacco taste before I lit it. I was just, just like had it sit in my mouth, and right off the bat, I got a brown sugar. Almost like a brown sugar or maple flavor. Which the whole thing is surprisingly sweet. It is sweet. Mm -hmm. Very sweet. For flavor. a non-Maduro, absolutely. Yeah, I was surprised by that. I didn't, I didn't expect that right off the bat. They don't use sugar in their glue, do they? Mm -mm. I don't think so. <laughs> no, it's it's not a sweet cap, sweet gum cap. Yeah. It's just sweet tobacco. Oh, that's a good thing. I feel like I'm in Florida. I get an orange feel. What's your name? Like, wind blowing through your hair? Yeah. Running across a field of clover <laughs> yeah. to hug you in the middle. Yeah. I'm definitely getting orange. I'm getting the orange peel right in the beginning. I'm getting citrusy here. Citrus. Right? Yes, I am. No, I am. Out of your mind. There's no orange. I'm not out of my mind. It's, it's orange citrus. Is from <laughs> That's what I'm getting. That's why everybody's perspective is the different. Power suggestion. Some, right. some are wrong. Am I not right? Oh, See, now you're no. going to see what we do. We Listen, argue. And we're gonna nobody's argue opinion today. is wrong. Um, not even ours. Yeah, some, you just said I was wrong. Some are wrong, or some are better than others, though. Get them, Art. <laughs> oh, I want to say this month is Perdomo month, the entire month of September. Uh, we've had some really great events so far, and all during the month there's some fabulous buys. I will let uh, Scott, as soon as he regains his composure, tell you all about the uh, special we're run. running this month on Perdomo. Take it away, Scott. He's still regaining <laughs> it. Trying to regain my composure? I told you it's going to be a long wait. <laughs> All month long with Perdomo, if you buy any four Perdomo, you get a free cigar. Um, it's either going to be the Champagne Noir Robusto or the Champagne Sun Grown. If you buy six Perdomo, you get two free. And if you buy ten, you get three free. And if you buy 25 or more, you get eight free. Eight free. Eight free. There you go. <laughs> and I believe you don't have to buy a box of 25. You no, just buy just 25 right. assorted. Spice Correct. Mix and, Mix and match. And, match. and oh. where can you find out more information about this? On, on our website. website. You can go to YouTube and watch our other shows. You, find you can go to YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or you can go to our website, oh, which website. is cccigars.com. Wow. Really? That's great, great harmony, guys. That's doublecigars.com, by the there way. There you go. Double C. Which, by the way, you can go to our uh, cigar time page and yeah. watch, the sh watch all our watch shows. shows. All, all the, the past show, the episodes. episodes. Absolutely. All 48 other ones. See how we all changed and grown. And age. <laughs> age. Like how long my hair used to be? <laughs> We've got a really, really good topic today. <laughs> we do? I hope so. It's a show. I don't know. Well, you're the star of it, so I hope I'm you. I'm not star of anything. <laughs> That's true. No. Okay, um, what we, we're going to do but, is go. But on. you are the only one on the panel that has been the star of a major motion picture. I wouldn't call yes. it a major motion picture. Well, I wouldn't call it a star. We're I sitting next to a, a celebrity <laughs> here. I tried, folks. Yeah. He what we're going to do is we're going to teach you to uh, uh, fill your, your butane lighter. Any butane. Any butane lighter. This is for all butane lighters, that uh, refillable butane lighters. Do we have a can of gas here so you can demonstrate? Oh. oh. Yes. It's over there. Uh, we do. It's somewhere around here. Walk over and get it. It's next to the can. Oh, I should thing. get up and walk and get, get it. it. Okay, yeah, I'll get it. Right there. Where'd you go? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just I'll walk. I'll just Why are we all Thank you very much. at her butt? <laughs> yeah. My Zycar Try to triple, stay under triple control. refined <laughs> butane. Okay, the first thing you do is you have to bleed the lighter. Take something sharp. If you have a, uh, a jeweler's tool or small screwdriver, ice a pencil, pick. ice pick, and all that'll, that'll do it. Stick it in the bottom of the lighter. The fuel where, where the valve is. You have to let all the, you hear that sound, let it all drain out. You'll see some, uh, some butane come out if there's any left. You have to get all the air out. You there's, have to, a there's a secret to that. If you see it, it's butane. 
if you if hear here, it, it's air. It's air. It's air. Right. And you've yeah. got to get rid of then all turn, the air. Now, you, what is the reason for that? Why do you have to bleed all the air You have to bleed out? so that when you put the butane in, you don't get air pockets. So you get more fuel in. To get more fuel in, yes. So the, the fueling will last longer. It's like a vapor lock type of thing. But it'll last longer if you bleed it. Correct. And it'll actually work. Yes. Right, it'll actually work, right. Which, which is then, the reason for most lighter failure. Then you turn it all the way to the minus, turn it all the way down. Then you take your butane. Shake it up. Shake it up. Turn it upside down and pump it a few times. Ooh, I usually, t yeah. Pump it <laughs> I usually pump it five times. You'll see when it's full, it'll start to come out the top. You so then you'll know times? it's full. Five it times, takes, yeah. It takes <laughs> literally about five seconds. It takes about five water. seconds. It might, it's Even full. Yeah, it's five seconds. Yeah. But since the fuel is very cold yeah. when it goes in there, it takes, it takes a little while for the fuel it'll, to warm, to warm up, up enough to ignite. So you see so you what he's doing? He's so then what you do after you do that, you turn it all the way to the plus, all the way as far as it'll go. And then... Wow. And there you have I it. I was sweating that out. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what if it doesn't light, right? By the way, I've done this millions of times. Yeah, Rob yeah. mentioned that the uh, Zycar is triple refined, and you might have heard of refined and not known what that meant. It's actually very important because each time it's refined, some of the little particles of things that come in butane get filtered out. Uh, they call that fine particulate matter in a technical phrase. Um, if you were to use an inferior butane that wasn't refined as much, those particles build up in the little valves and tubes of the lighter and eventually it'll clog up and that's a whole issue unto itself. That's why I always buy butane that's at least Three times refined. At least three times. There are we, ones out there that have five times refined. Yeah, we, we sell nothing but three, four, five times refined. Mm -hmm. You'll never get a bad can of butane at a cigar, cigar store, or probably in any other brick and mortar store that specializes in premium cigars. Mm -hmm. And once you do that, you have the flame all the way up, and you can adjust it down to however, whatever height you want. You go down, it goes out. I think you went too far. I went too far. You <laughs> went too far. You can do it, adjust it anyway to any height you want. And with a good so, wheel on the bottom like this yeah, one, yeah, it's very easy to do. It's a very do. big wheel. It's a lot easier to do. Now, am I correct in assuming, based on my many, many years of observing customers bringing back what they think are defective lighters, is that the cause of 90%? 90% of, of the yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Air. Absolutely. Air, air. air in there. The what vapor else? lock, it'll take it out. Many of our customers are full of hot air. Oh, oh no, I didn't say that. You mean the panel. <laughs> yeah. Panel. I have seen people take those canned air thing? The air compressed can, if it has a dirty burner, you just take the compressed air and you just spray it in and that should do the yeah, trick. Yeah, it's amazing. You, get a, you can get a tiny bit of ash or mm -hmm. anything in there and it'll, it'll completely, it's, it, it doesn't completely clog it up. You'll still hear gas coming out, but it m m messes with, I guess, the, the butane air mixture. Right. And it just won't, it just doesn't light the right way. So if you, if you take that Compressed air, you spray it out. We'll bring it in. We'll do it for you. Yeah, that, take that'll it, fix the other five percent. Alcohol of the swabs and clean it. Mm -hmm. Anything like that yes. to clean the jets because they're very, very sensitive. And this is a this is a well sealed system, so I've seen people carry it around in their pockets as I do, and sometimes the lint that sometimes is in your pocket can also clog up a lighter. But in a system like this, the sealed system, uh, it's very unlikely to happen that mm -hmm. way. So you can always carry it around. The, yeah. there, there is one other thing that occasionally creates a problem for a lighter. It's actually pretty easy to fix. Sometimes the sparker seems like it isn't sparking yeah. anymore. Mm -hmm. the Usually what yeah. that is is a little bit of char or ash mm -hmm. on the sparker wire itself. Holds up, yeah. And if you take that same little kind of screwdriver or all that you would use to yeah. bleed it and just sort of rough up the rough edge of, up, the, yeah. of the wire, It'll shoot a cleaner yeah. spark, and that'll light it better. Actually, sometimes, it, it, sometimes it bends. It, goes, it, it bends away yeah. from the... Yeah. Yep. Never from figure the, how that happens. Like, how yeah. The thing bend? They just yeah. take it and, and bend it but back But the nice closer. thing about this is, I don't see that happening on it. Well, no, it's, a seal, it's, it's pretty it's sealed. sealed. Yeah, it's sealed. Exactly. Still with these. Mm -hmm. so. I, li I, li I like that this lighter has a very nice view gauge. And yeah. I, I can see it holds a lot of fuel. It does. Yeah, they redesigned this yeah. Yeah. and uh, made a bigger tank. Well, it's so. light too. It's, it's very light. Very it's, nice light. And small. it's only two, in, it's two it's inches gorgeous. tall by like less than an inch. Yeah, it's, less it's than an inch. The right wide. size. It is the right perfect size. size. Yeah, it's 
Nice. All right, now that we're in about a dollar and a quarter. And this one's called the Alum. The Alum. Yeah, the Zycar It's Alum. new in the stores, but your local brick and mortar store, and of course, we're all nine of Cigar Cigar stores, will have these lighters in stock now. Yep. So look for it, very popular price. Uh, doesn't, doesn't damage the pocketbook badly at all. And uh, what can I say? It's a quality product from a quality company. The leader in the field of cutters and lighters Lifetime for our industry. Warranty. Lifetime, Lifetime warranty. warranty. Lifetime warranty, yep. Cannot All right, I think it's time to go back and talk more about our Perdomo cigar. Okay. Who wants to lead off? Paul's ready to say something. Yeah, I was just ready to say that the cigar has stayed exactly the same as when I first lit it, which is, for me, dominated by a sweet, nutty flavor. And I don't know about any of the other stuff going on. It's just a sweet, nutty kind of taste. It's mild. Uh, it's not intrusive at all. It's kind of a relaxed sort of cigar to smoke. Mm -hmm. You don't have to wrestle with the flavors at all. Okay. I'm feeling this on the on the tip of my tongue, or actually, actually coats. I should say just the tip, but the, the, the tip and half the of side. Your yeah, the sides and it really yeah. it really coats the tongue. Mm -hmm. um, again, good smoke from this. I I had that initial brown sugar, which I thought was very unique. It was brown sugar, mapleish, molasses. Um, yeah, molasses. I'm also getting some of that mentioned earlier. The a little bit of roast coffee or espresso. Yeah. Um, very enjoyable, and it's it is. I agree. It is a it's a sweet cigar. Misty. I'm getting orange peel notes. Definitely. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying that because I am. With I, that agree, shit, I agree. I agree with. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with Scott. It is uh, staying to the front of my palate a lot more. Um, and that's where I'm really getting that sweet type of citrusy flavor from. Is citrus? Yeah, that, that is sweet. Yeah. Um, the construction's nice. It's a good cigar. Rob? What? I'm not getting any orange peel. <laughs> right no pe no peel orange notes. Peel. No peel notes. I do not. <laughs> but I do get when I do. So the retro hail, I do get the uh, the coffee and espresso nutty taste. It does. I, I do feel it on the the, the front of my uh, palate. It's very very smooth. It is. Um, it's, it's a beautifully orange. constructed cigar. It's a little rough. The um, I think it's a little rough on mine anyway. What's the price point on these? Low. Five seventy five. Yeah, this is their their bargain. Not bargain. I shouldn't say bargain. It's their lower uh, price cigars. The the robusto that we're smoking, I believe, is like five thirty. The Toro is. Uh, Five seventy. So, oh, it's it's very very pricey. It's a very a reasonable yeah, very, cigar. Yeah, very reasonably priced ah, cigar. Sweet spot. Nice. As for me, again, Nick Perdomo does a very consistent yeah. cigar. The taste hasn't varied one iota. I give it a. Somebody said it was a mild cigar. Yeah, I, I say mild. I would say it's mild on the way to medium, at least for my palate anymore. Yeah. Uh, it does coat my tongue very nicely with a nice sweet taste. I get every. Not, like, I'm, I'm getting maybe a little lemon peel. I'm not sure of the orange oh, peel. Ah. <laughs> lemon peel. Lemon peel. It must be you just well, you see orange okay. coming out. Rob, did you, oh my God. Did you say she this? was going down with she what? She was going down with the ship. Oh, with the ship. Mm. Yeah. I misheard you. Yes. I'm sure you did. The I'm sure you did. <laughs> <laughs> Is anybody going get any spice? I, a little bit. Very a little. 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 Very, yeah. just, a, just a hint of it. Mm -hmm. It's like this little yeah. tiny tingly. Yeah. Because what I tell customers, I always say it, it's a little spicy in there. So. I'm, I'm amazed. It's probably that I could Nick, is, Nick is certainly in a family of very few producers. Remember, he is vertically integrated. Mm -hmm. from, from He makes even the boxes. So from the seed in the field to our shells, it's mm -hmm. all under his family. Under him, his supervision, his family is... Everybody in his family works the field, works everything. I mean, we know them all, and they, they work very hard to produce a quality, consistent product. And I really like the band because it shows, I believe, that's a picture of the Lot 23. Yeah, like probably this. one of these. Yeah, I think that's gorgeous, too. Well, I think it's time to uh, rate it. We smoked enough of it. All right, I'll, Go ahead. I'll start. Um, factoring in everything, um, I'm going to give it a 4.25. She's tough. No, she, no, she took mine. I have four two five for me. It's it doesn't hit my taste profile. I like a little fuller bodied cigar. It's a good cigar to, to smoke in the morning. I was gonna say yeah. Yeah, for me. Um, but I give it a four two five. Paul, it's rare that I like a cigar that I w don't have to think about when I'm smoking it. <laughs> but this is one of those, and for that reason, I give it a four four five. Oh, 
that. This is a great like every day. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. And every you can every day, every day. Yeah. That I'll every wake day. up with a cigar. A yes. box of these is like ninety bucks a week. Yeah, for the, something right like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's a for very, a box of twenty. Extremely affordable, especially yes. with the and this, with the specials we have going on. It's very affordable. Um, I'm gonna go with a four three five. Okay. And they come in boxes of twenty. Yep. Mm -hmm. Wasn't it Nick's company that absorbed the S chip? Yes. Yes, they, they did. did. Yes, they did. When I raised the taxes from basically a nickel to forty cents about five years ago, he absorbed it all. So his his price points are right in the sweet spot. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. As for me, this is my kind of cigar, so I'm gonna give it a four seven. Really? Oh, that's a great rating. Yep. It is. Yeah, it's because it, 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 remember, to me, price point's important too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's got to be affordable to the average, you know, pocketbook. And this is clearly that's why this is an everyday cigar. It is definitely. Yeah. You could you could wake up and smoke this cigar. I'm not saying you should. I'm just saying you could. It it, it it's certainly mild enough to do that, but to me, has enough enough oomph and taste to really warrant a decent rating. So I guess altogether, we're at about almost 4.5 in the rating. That's pretty good. They also have one that comes in the Maduro. Yes. Yeah, it just comes yeah. in the Maduro. Which is, I a little like, bit of sweeter. course, Maduro more. I think if you drank this with like a coffee or something, it would probably really bring out those. Bring notes. out the taste more. Yeah. Yeah. If yeah. I drank this, I would choke. Yeah, I was gonna say you might choke if you tried to drink the cigar. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I wouldn't put it past him. My gullet's not that big. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But. They abuse me on the show. Oh as, as we're coming, <laughs> you know, as we're coming to the <laughs> middle of our Perdomo month, we again want to thank everybody for participating in our events. Thank you very much for your sales. Uh, we hope, again, if you can't make it into a cigar cigar store, that you at least patronize your local brick and mortar shop. They're the lifeblood of the continuing sales of premium cigars. So, you know, we try to be competitive with everybody. We do our best to have stores where it's convenient to our, our shoppers. Uh, more stores are on the way. Yay. I dare say that. Yeah. And there'll be some exciting new events coming for Cigar Cigars pretty soon. So nice. Stay tuned. Don't forget, buy four. Oh, yeah. Any you product about it, you're going to get a free uh, Robusto Noir or the Sun Grown. If you buy six, you're going to get two free. If you buy ten, you'll get three free. And if you buy 25 fingers. or more, you'll get eight free. Eight free. Wow. Yes. It's, it's, it's a <laughs> you can't beat that. No, deal. absolutely no. not. Cabernet Noir, and we, it's we mixed reviewed, it, we reviewed the Noir two weeks ago. I was going to say, you want that Champagne Noir. The, the, no. I Fine. think that each time they buy 25 or more, not only should we give them the eight free No, cigars, that's it. That's all they should get. No, this eight should, cigars. They should get no, eight absolutely eight. not. Just no. Oh, no. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, it's coming. We have to go. No, it's not. Yeah, it's, it's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. These half hours go by so fast. So, smoke often and smoke happy. Remember, life's too short to smoke cheap cigars. Wow, he's Come on. Again. And that's three in a row. Smoke sweet. Don't forget to follow me on IG, Sexy Cigar Lakes. Bye, Dad. Ciao for now, everybody. Again, as always, we're nothing without you. Thank you for viewing. Thank you for giving us the ratings we get. Thank you for supporting us on YouTube and everywhere else. Mm -hmm. And we'll, I guess, see you next week. Yeah. It, it's been a beautiful time, 7.30 next Tuesday, That's right. and we'll be smoking some more. Thank you.